New friend, new video. So welcome guys. I'm in Tenerife in the Canary Islands of Spain. I came down to live and work in an animal shelter like this. But actually you cannot see the big big part because this is not the big the main part. And uh, I came down on Sunday and two days later on Tuesday, the second workday, I managed to break the remaining working parts of my mobile phone. And like, yeah, I put it here on the edge and the wind just blew it away and it flew down five meters and it just died completely. So I decided to buy a new one, <clears throat> a modern one with better camera, better battery, better CPU, etc. So I have come up with a well-designed profound plan which was to go to Santa Cruz and buy a new phone that I have chosen there from a shop that I knew that they had it in, in stock. So Friday after work, after a quick shower, I went to the bus stop. That direction, 30 minutes like walk in the nice sunny weather. The bus came after 20 minutes. So I jumped on the bus and uh, asked for one ticket from the driver and tried to pay with cash immediately. And he told me, no, 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 effectivo, meaning no cash. I tried with my debit card, no debit card. It turned out that they were not selling any, anything on the bus, but they were requiring to use something, you know, like, uh, like a magnet card, like something like this. This is a public transport card here in Tenerife, so that with this you can just, you know, touch it to the machine and you can travel. And uh, I didn't have anything like this back then, and uh, I wanted to buy it, but you know, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so I couldn't really buy or do anything much. <clears throat> and I tried to bargain my way through with the driver, like I even tried to give him, you know, five euro to put it into the jar or something, just please take me to the Capital City because I, I, I have not much of an options. And the driver was very strict, you know, he didn't want to accept anything, not the extra money, <laughs> extra contribution from myself. And uh, eventually I just gave up and I uh, jumped off from the bus. And uh, as a plan B, I came back to the animal shelter to ask if I can borrow a car. Because we have, uh, we have a few, but it turned out that only one of them had the ITV license, which was used by the host, so they couldn't uh, let me to borrow it. So as a plan C, I <laughs> asked around in uh, here that if anyone has this magnet card that I could borrow and they told me that uh, one guy uh, has it. This was on Friday, but the guy was not nowhere around and he turned up uh, on the next day on Saturday and I borrowed his card. He told me that the card has not much enough money to go to Santa Cruz, so he told me to go to um, San Isidro to, cho to top up the card. And then from there I can go to the capital city with top top card. So that was the new plan. I went to the bus stop 30 minutes again, walking in a nice sunny weather. Waited for the bus 30 minutes, the bus came, I jumped on and I used my card and the machine was, you know, blinking in the red light, like it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, the bus driver asked where I want to go. I told him San Isidro, like the city. He typed in this address into the machine, so it will only charge me a less smaller amount of money. I tried again, it didn't work, <laughs> and I was feeling like, no, come on, I, it cannot be. And I tried again, you know, like try to bargain my way through. I explained the driver that, listen, I, I told the driver, like, Mira Tio, like, like, listen, dude, <laughs> I, I live in an animal shelter in the middle of nowhere. I have no car, I have no bicycle, I, I have a magnet ticket for the, the, the freaking bus, but I cannot, <laughs> I cannot use it because it has, doesn't have enough for that. I want to top up the, my car. And I even tried to give him this time, you know, 10 euro, just take me free bus stop there. And he was like very strict, like the other driver he didn't want to let me on the bus. And after a little while, I gave up again and then jumped from, jumped off from the bus again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as the next plan, I came back again to the uh, animal shelter and as the owner of the borrowed car, card, like, okay, what's now? And he thought, actually, I can uh, try to top up on the internet. And I was like, yeah, that is what I should have tried in the first place. And But no problem, because it didn't work, because you can start the registration process. You can see the balance of the card, actually, but you cannot uh, top up through online without... Uh, taking the card after registration process and check the balance or top it up in a physical machine, you know, like, <laughs> like for heaven's sake, I can check the balance, you know, I can see how much money the card is, but I cannot send more money to the card, like, and this card can only be used by the bus and they cannot really, you know, refund me the money. So it's like, what are they afraid of? Like uh, money laundry or something? Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, I was looking on the website, on the official website, 
for places where I can where I can uh, top up the car there. And I found one which was way closer than San Isidro. It was the next uh, sort of a next town, which was around 50 minutes walk on the on the normal uh, twisting side uh, small roads. But actually, it was only 20 minutes or something, and, uh, or 30, 30, 30 minutes on the, on next to the highway. So I uh, yeah, take my hat and I was walking there. I arrived and guys, <laughs> there was only three stone walls and nothing else. <laughs> like for heaven's sake, why would you state this on the official website that I can top up the card if there if it's not true? Anyhow, I digress. And there was someone waiting there at the bus stop. I asked her that if she knows anything about any option about topping up a car and she told me that yeah I need to go this direction to San Isidro where actually I'm coming from I mean the direction I'm coming from and I was like no so I have to walk back <laughs> way more because San Isidro was like uh, for three four hours <coughs> according to Google Maps so at that point I was pretty much uh, pissed off like I tried so many times like I tried like I tried so much stuff and I just doesn't want to happened <laughs> so eventually i decided that i will walk three four hours i don't care i need to top up this cart so i can get on the bus on monday or something my next working day and just buy my phone so i was okay let's go let's come back here to the animal shelter just threw one bottle of water in my backpack my hat and stuff and and just just walk three for three four hours to the next city where i can top it up top it up for sure so this way I can have a card with money and on Monday I can go to the shop before it closes and buy my phone. So I went to the other side of the road and where I met someone else and, and I was like okay this is the last time when I ask anyone if they, if they knew anything about topping up the card around that area. I explained him in Spanish that I have a card, I want to top it up etc. And the gentleman told me yeah the card is for the bus and I was like Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I want to. Ch I want to top top it off. You know. Like uh, I. It was in Spanish, and I. I sense that he doesn't speak much Spanish, and so we changed to English. He told me more unrelated nonsense stuff, which pissed off me even more. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. Thank you very much. I. I need to walk. I go. So in the last moment, he has just told that actually he has this this card, you know, with more money than than I have. And I can I can try with his car to get on the bus and go to the <coughs> next city to do the top up. And I was like, oh yeah, really? I, can I have it or, or or just 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 for this ride? And he gave it gave it to me, you know, just for the ride to to give it a try. And we were not sure how much money it had, but I was like, yeah, <coughs> if it doesn't work, no problem. The bus came three minutes later, and I tried with the new card, and actually it worked <laughs> finally. <laughs> And I was still in time. I went to the <coughs> San Isidro, the next city. I uh, topped up my new my own card, and I took the next bus uh, back to the back to the capital. Where I arrived to the shop very minutes before they were closing. And actually, they told that they not not open that late usually, but this this time somehow they they <coughs> they were still there. So I was very. I was, so this was the first lucky stuff that happened to me on that in the last <laughs> few days then. Yeah, and they tried to sell the phone uh, a bit uh, more expensive than I have seen on the internet. So they tried to sell it uh, for 550 euros. And I told them with my basic page that like, yeah, but on the website of yours, I have seen a um, cheaper price. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, they have just changed something, some. And they asked me that, okay, how much have you seen uh, on the website? And uh, I have seen 509 euros, but uh, because my Spanish is not so <coughs> high level, I couldn't say this number. So I said like 500 because it was easier for me to <laughs> to say in Spanish. And they were like, "Oh yeah, that's correct." So actually, I had a discount like already like nine euros, which I invested in some glass protector and other stuff. So, so guys, finally I have my new phone, so I can make new videos and I'm about to edit just this and upload it very quickly. And I'm about to edit new videos and make new ones since I have my new gear. So I cannot wait to share my new experience with you. So until the next time, peace. <coughs> so my bloopers, ah, I can
cannot believe this. Hey Ludo, you want to help me? Ludo? The dog just sitting there without any help, he doesn't want to help me, just laughing at me. <laughs>